Hi, I'm Dave, and today I'm going to show you how to make the Logic Alarm project. In this project, Key Stage 4 students in Year 10 will learn how to make a simple logic alarm circuit. This circuit uses a logic gate and a switch to trigger the alarm. A logic gate is an IC with usually two inputs and one output, and is a basic building block of most electronic circuits. In this kit you'll find a 4093 logic IC, a 14 pin deal socket, a PP3 battery clip with tinned fly leads, a piezo sounder, three 100k carbon film resistors, an ultra miniature slide switch and two 15 nanofarad capacitors. You're also going to need a form of input so for this example we've used a push button switch and you're going to need a PP3 battery, some equipment wire, some side cutters, some wire strippers, a soldering iron, some helping hands, and some solder wire. We've also produced extensive student and teacher's notes, including a six-week lesson plan to accompany this project. This project will enable students to learn about logic circuit design, truth tables, common logic gates, and different logic ICs. Before you start, turn your soldering iron on so that it's at the correct operating temperature for when you come to the soldering process. First, take your carbon film resistors and thread each resistor through the holes denoted for them on the PCB board and bend the legs back against the rear of the PCB. This is to prevent the legs from falling out the holes when it comes to soldering. Place the PCB board into the helping hands and carefully solder the legs to the solder tags on the PCB. Remove the board from the helping hands and snip off any excess resistor leg with your side cutters. Next, select your capacitors and pop them through the holes on the PCB designated for these components and bend the legs back against the PCB board. Again, pop the PCB board into the helping hands and solder the contacts to the solder tags. Then remove from the helping hands and snip off any excess material. Now take your deal socket taking note of the notch on the component and place it in the board ensuring that the notch on the socket faces the side of the notch printed on the PCB itself. Bend the legs back against the board, solder into place and remove any excess material. Next, you'll need your miniature slide switch. Place this component through the holes designated on the board, ensuring that the slide switch faces away from the board and bend the legs back to prevent it from falling out. Solder into place and remove any excess material. Now select your piezo sounder and pop the tinned wires through the designated holes on the PCB for this unit, ensuring that the red wire is threaded through the hole with the positive symbol next to it. Bend the wires back against the PCB, solder into place and remove any excess wire. Up next is the PCB battery clip. Again, the wires on this component have already been tinned, so you don't need to go through the tinning process for this unit. Place the wires through the holes denoted for the battery clip on the PCB, again ensuring that the red wire goes through the hole with a positive symbol next to it and solder it into place. Now cut two lengths of equipment wire, roughly about 10 centimeters long, and strip the plastic coating off the ends to reveal the metal core beneath. Then twist the strands tightly against each other to ensure that they remain together and carefully tin all four ends with a coating of solder. Now take your input switch, in this example, a push button switch, and thread the tinned wire through the contacts from the inside out. You now need to solder the wires to the switch's contacts, thus creating a permanent bond between wire and switch. Thread the other ends of the wire through the holes on the PCB board on the capacitor side closest to the miniature slide switch. Bend the wires back and solder into place. Remove any excess material with your side cutters and set the PCB aside. Finally, select your 4093 logic IC and carefully push the component into the deal socket on the PCB board, ensuring that all the legs sit correctly and that none of them bend out of place. This now completes the assembly process, so ensure that you switch off your soldering iron and store it in a safe place until it is cooled down completely. Now it's time to test our project. First, plug your PP3 battery into your PP3 battery clip and switch on the project using a miniature slide switch. When the button is pressed, the voltage between the resistors is high and the output latch is low. This creates an A stable, activating the alarm. 
To deactivate the alarm, either switch the project off or disconnect the power supply. For more information on this project or access to the teacher's notes, then please just click on the link below. Also, if you've enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to our channel where you can view all the videos in this series. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.